All right, so the Minnesota Vikings have released their uh, injury report for today, Thursday, uh, ahead of week 11, and we've got some bad news. Um, and this is just, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know if you want to call it, that's very 2020, that's very Vikings of this to happen, but it is what it is, and it is official uh, that Ezra Cleveland has not practiced for two days, and I think that is uh, significant in the fact that we just cut Pat Elfline. Also showing up on the injury report is uh, CJ Ham, who an hour ago we learned was uh, put placed on the COVID-19 reserve list. Uh, he was listed as did not practice yesterday for non-injury reasons, and now we know the reason. I don't believe that this is a positive test because I believe that they would have put that in the statement. Um, maybe we'll know more uh, soon, sooner or later. Um, but this could just be a contact trace situation like it was with Matt Staff uh, Matthew Stafford a week ago. So we'll find out, I'm sure, more in the next day or two. But for right now, C.J. Ham is on reserve COVID-19 list. Ezra Cleveland has missed two days of practice with what they're calling an ankle injury. Uh, he is not participating, uh, so he's missed two straight days this week ahead of the game against the Cowboys. And um, that's problematic for a number of reasons. Uh, so number one, which I've already mentioned, is that we let Pal Pat Elfline go. So he is now a member of the New York Jets after they claimed him off waiver. So immediately after sort of, you know, taking a taking a, a shot at our depth, <laughs> we, uh, we have an injury concern because uh, that means Dakota Dozier is going to have uh, somebody else uh, playing guard with him this week. So uh, Dozier will be the left guard. And then in practice today... It was Brett Jones and um, Uliodo uh, taking snaps at right guard. So um, Gary Kubiak seems to think that uh, Ezra Cleveland will return uh, sooner than later. He, he seemed to talk up his ability to uh, quickly overcome whatever ailment is currently ailing him. I'm not as, um, not as certain because an ankle injury for an offensive lineman could be considered... Uh, a problem, and they've been sort of, uh, you know, hush-hush about injuries and their uh, severity in the past, they, with, you know, the biggest example being Daniil Hunter's tweak, which turned out to be a season-ending neck injury that's going to require surgery. Uh, so, yeah, very, um, very uh, concerning going forward, especially when we've been looking at these uh, next three home games against the Cowboys, Panthers, and Jaguars as of uh, you know almost near certain uh, victories that we could that we should be able to pull off. So uh, the offensive line depth going into this week is um, going to be something to keep an eye on. So we'll see if Ezra, Ezra Cleveland comes back, at, uh, if at all, in time for the uh, the Cowboys game. C.J. Ham thing is a little bit more concerning because I don't know when he's eligible to return, and I also don't know if this means that we could see somebody else added to the list given that he has close contact with Dalvin Cook and potentially uh, some of the offensive linemen. Um, you could even add Kirk Cousins into the miss, but really I'm more concerned about Dalvin Cook being a part of the running back room where C.J. Ham likely is participating with uh, Alexander Madison and Mike Boone. So, um, yeah, hopefully Dalvin Cook does not show up on that because if he does, that is an integral piece of the offense or the focus of the offense. Remember, this is a fringe MVP candidate we're talking about that could miss time against Dallas. Uh, I mean, we, we've seen Alexander Madison in this in game situations this season where he should have excelled, and against the Falcons, he really didn't. And then in mop-up work, not mop-up work, but in, uh, in secondary work against Seattle, again, not that successful. So still really like Alexander Madison. He just hasn't really been able to hit his stride this year. Uh, so... You know, that's a potential possibility we could see. Luckily, Dallas's defense is pretty god-awful, so we should be able to survive. Um, but, you know, that's why they play the game. You know, you don't get a free win just because a team is terrible. You go out, you play the game, and there's a potential you could get upset by a team that has had real struggles all season, even worse struggles than we've had. Uh, also notable on the injury report was Irv Smith Jr., who's been limited for a second straight day. Um... I don't remember what the injury is that he's dealing with, but he also missed um, the Monday night game in Chicago. And Cam Dantzler was limited again for a second straight day. He still is uh, recovering from that concussion. So it would be nice to get him back into the mix with the secondary that seems to be figuring things out and, uh, you know, throw him in there with Jeff Gladney and Chris Boyd and the rest of them. So uh, overall for this video, just wanted to keep it short with the news. A little concerned about what this means going forward for Sunday and whether or not Dalvin Cook might show up as a part of a contact tracing and force him to go on the COVID-19 list. I don't feel like that could happen at this juncture, but it's still early. We just learned about this about an hour ago, uh, so we'll find out. And then again, it's a very Vikings thing for, you know, your starting right guard to get injured uh, <laughs> a couple days after you cut 
your original starting right guard and now we're uh, kind of you know looking around for what kind of um, you know solutions we can find at depth so interesting going forward we'll see what the friday injury report has thank you for watching see you in the next one